Okay, so welcome to this uh, short demo about um, basically about the developer experience or how it feels to work with code in a, in a polylith uh, workspace or in a, in a repository where, where everything is structured according to the polylith architecture. And if you have seen my previous video, maybe you have seen the, also seen the uh, example repositories that I have on my GitHub uh, page. And this is what we see here is one of them. Uh, and this is an example repo with uh, configured according to uh, the Hatch tool. And Hatch is a package and dependency management uh, tool just like uh, Poetry, PDM and, and Rye. So, okay, so, so uh, let's ju jump into this uh, project. So we have like already begun working with code. We have uh, some um, Python modules, we have some projects, we have deployed something and uh, we probably would want something that would visualize what, what's in this repository other than just uh, looking at the folder structure like this. So one way of doing that is uh, running the poly info command. So I'm just going to do that. Well, since this is a, a hatch uh, repository, so I'm going to run my commands in, within the hatch context to get the hatch environment, uh, make it available in for, poly, for the poly to, uh, lift tool also. So uh, this is uh, just an overview over what's in this uh, workspace. We have like five projects, we have seven components, we have five bases, uh, bases and one development uh, environment. So, uh, so that's the projects are the, the things you want to deploy and have running somewhere like a fast API um, service somewhere or maybe a AWS Lambda or, or GCP function or something like that. So that's a project. So the development uh, thing over here is actually the, the, the place where we do the development and test and try out code basically. So in Polylith, uh, that's a really important and, and like uh, useful thing to have. So that's why we have a, a separate folder for it even. So in the development folder, folder you can have your, your, like, um, uh, your, your code that you want to try out and experiment and, and, and uh, start developing something. Uh, so that's, a, that's an area for, for like experimentation so that you can save. And, and uh, version if you want or just throw away when you're when you're when you're done with it so uh, what's also very uh, central in this uh, way of working is that all code shares the same virtual environment and that means also that all of the code is uh, having has has the same linting rules has the same um, uh, typing uh, um, setups and all of that you know developer things that we usually have spread out in in several repositories and and also slightly different in all of these uh, repositories because uh, maybe you haven't worked uh, for a while in this repository and it has become outdated or something like that or some other team has started working with other uh, with other with an other setup of, of rules and linting styles and stuff like that but in a polylith uh, workspace uh, all code use the same uh, setup so, and and i think that's really good and that takes a lot away a lot of uh, uh, developer headache headache basically so coming back to this shared virtual environment so i'm a huge fan of a thing called REPL driven development so if i manage to open the file like this and that means that uh, I, would I would like to write code and evaluate it quickly, basically like test-driven development, but, but I want to run the code. And uh, I have my editor set up for this uh, and a short uh, command. So this means that I can evaluate code in, in uh, a module and uh, see what's happening in, in, in a REPL. And you see that, that I have imported from example, which is my top namespace in this uh, repository. In, in a real world scenario, your, your top namespace would probably be something more descriptive. Maybe uh, the product name or your organization name or something more 
more uh, connected to to your business but this is just an example so i named it example so that's the top namespace so all code in the in the this repository regardless of if of where it ends up in any projects have the same top namespace so that's uh that's kind of a, a important thing in, in Polylift too. So and that means that I have access to all the code. So I can import, uh, let's say that I want to import the dictionaries. Like this. So I can use these uh, two functions that I know uh, uh, live there. So. So I have access to all, all of the, the source code, basically, like this. So that's kind of, a, uh, my time is running out, uh, but uh, that's kind of the, the developer uh, experience. You can run code, you can test, you can also do all of this in, in a separate REPL if you want. You can run the poly commands, you can run, if you want to see what libraries are used. Uh, so this is an, a different kind of visualization of of, uh, of your, your repo, you can do that. And there's a bunch of other commands. But I want to finish up with, I was using uh, Hatch, but uh, uh, the other day I kind of uh, learned about uh, a new tool called Rye, which, is, which I think is, uh, has, is really cool and has a lot of potential. It is, has uses um, rust behind the scenes so i think it's very fast and uses rough and, and cool stuff like that so naturally i wanted to see if polylith uh, works uh, works it with rye and it turns out that it uh, actually works really well so here is my rye example Exactly the same kind of setup. It's a different repo, but with the same Python source code, but configured for Rye. So you see that I can run the, the poly commands uh, with Rye too, and use uh, Polylith just as uh, with Hatch, with PDM, and with Poetry. So thank you for listening. Check, uh, check this out. If you have any questions or feedback, uh, contact me on uh, the, the repository or maybe on Mastodon or LinkedIn or wherever. I'm, I'm uh, available in many, many uh, communities. So thank you for listening.